Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm wondering, did any of you guys have to wear a Band-Aid this week? Was it a Buzz Lightyear Band-Aid? <laughs> well, I hope you didn't. But you know, the people in Peter's letter, they were suffering and they needed a lot more than just a Band-Aid, didn't they? They were being persecuted. And there's all kinds of suffering in our world still today. Maybe you're suffering or someone you know is. There's all different kinds, so maybe you've experienced your neighbors being mean to you. Or maybe you know somebody who has COVID or someone with cancer. Maybe you are sad now or you've been sad because somebody that you loved died. Well, there's all kinds of suffering and the Bible is given to us so that we can have hope during our suffering. And our memory verse for these few weeks comes from Romans 15, 13, and it's a verse to give us hope. It's a prayer that we can pray. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Isn't that good? Well, let's see if Noah's around to help us look at what we might be studying next week. Are you ready to call him? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Noah! Nothing. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Noah! I'm really being loud, but he still isn't here. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Noah! Hey, here he is. What are you doing, Noah? Oh, 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 oh. oh Miss Tina, sorry I didn't see you there. I was going backwards. Backwards? Why? Well, I decided today is going to be backwards day. Oh, okay. Well, let's try that then. We'll just do it. All right. Hey, if today is backwards day, we'll do things backwards, and I'm going to tell an elephant joke. You are going to tell an elephant joke? I've got a really oh. good one. I all bet right, you all right, all right. I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. How do you know if there's an elephant under your bed? How uh, would I know if there's an elephant under my bed? That's a good one. I don't know. Because your nose will be bumping the ceiling. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you had a good one. I told you I that's could a tell good an one. elephant that's joke. A good one. You didn't think I could, but you I did it. You did it. <laughs> I think you have a new job. <laughs> oh, no. You're good at okay, the elephant jokes. Okay, all so right. You're also good. Mrs. Noah's good at putting stuff in your box. Well, let's see. It's going to be a surprise. Oh. Hey. That's interesting. That's something different. Look at that. We have... An old-fashioned writing quill in an inkwell. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You don't see that very often anymore. Certainly not, because people used to use this to write. Yes. Right? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what somebody could have been writing with this. Well, guys, read 2 Peter this week and see why maybe Noah had this pen this quill pen and inkwell in his box. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.